I am Lice. And I am Scandal. And let's play, play a, a game, game together. together. Yeah. So we are back with episode three of My Mystic Dragons. I was going to do My Hero Dragon Academia. Oh, <laughs> my Dragon my Academia. Academia. <gasps> yes. <laughs> I went, can I meet all dragon? Oh. I just want to hear, like, see how, like, all dragons do it. That would be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, so, uh, we have, we have just put our drunk friend in the car. Here we go. Please make sure he gets home safe. I close the car door, watching as the cab takes off with my best friend inside it. And he whirls on the floor. No. <laughs> yeah, and he vomits <laughs> onto, into the, the opposite footwell as I watch him go, oh... Hey, I maybe should have let him do that out here first. Well, we didn't. I'm do sorry. If we're gonna be that aggressive, we should have just picked him up, shook him aggressively <laughs> <laughs> until he went. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I hadn't dumped the water over his head and instead smacked him, he would have vomited all over the table, and maybe, maybe it would have felt a little better. Honestly, though, that's a terrible thing to do. Please don't do that to your friends. Oh God, like, no! Damn. Don't, don't do that. Don't I'm do still it. bothered by the fact that our character's really first response is to go. I'm going to be aggressive at you because we are not interested in each other because that's usually what that trope screams at. On the other hand, so. I was very much like this experience of going, okay, so these are your only two options. Do you, are you really angry at your friend for having an alcohol problem? Like, oh, he does this every time and going, okay, but if this is your best friend, either you have crappy friends and your best friend is still a crappy friend. Right. Or... Um, you guys are wildly mismatched. I was going to say, one. or you have no sympathy for the fact that you're both clearly very young. You're still living at home, you know, with your right? grandfather. And um, that he's already struggling with drinking this hard. Like, that that seems like a thing you'd want to, like, I mean, sometimes it's hard to engage, but you'd want to sort of support your friend with or try and help them. Yeah, like, go, if you, if you were that young and you've got a friend who's really doing that, I'd be like, go talk to an adult. Something. Go talk to, like, somebody. Like, damn. Uh... It was nice of you to do that. Not, not really. Except I was the one that put them in the cab, so what are we talking about? Why am I saying it was nice of you to do that? Like, giving the address is normal? Why am I thanking you for something that I did and I paid for? I guess it was nice of me to, to think of to do that. Because, you know, otherwise he'd have had to be drunk stumbling around here for a long time until we could assumably walk home together. Right. Right, that's all. I don't no understand, problem. but I'll I'll go with that. All right, uh, cool, that's all I got. After he wakes up tomorrow, he'll owe me a big favor. I don't know how I can possibly thank you for your help. Uh, this is a little awkward. It's also weird that everyone cleared out so fast that we're back here, and no one else is here at all. Wild. Oh, no, now we're into bargaining parts of the relationship, which is not a good sign for any relationship. Anyway. Wait, um, since when did we offer to thank you? I doubt you can thank me by letting me take you home. Well, because I put him in the cab. Right, but oh, I and, put him and in the you cab, said honey. thank you to me, and here's how I that's can thank you. That's why I said, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, there like, we go. Uh, what? So you said thank you to me, and now I can thank you by I. That sounds. I don't know how I feel about that actually, unless we're walking, and then generally probably fine as long as it's a safe neighborhood. Right. Oh. Which I also though hate, like that thing of real, that realization of going, so what we have is, assumably, in this case, I am assuming, mm -hmm. that Small is a cisgendered female, uh -huh. um, and you're having to ask that question of going, is the neighborhood safe? Do I actually know you and can I trust you? Uh -huh. Like, there's so many things more than just, hi, it's just easy. You just go home with someone, or they, you just let them walk you home. Or you take have you to... home. Maybe he has a car. Yeah, you do not, not know, know people. Like, there is a level, like, I think that's where a lot of people, like, fail to realize, I think in some cases, why so many individuals like, like, I'm going to go into a thing here, but why they, why, why they like basically yaoi or gay fiction. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, is that when you're out, when you have been identified as a woman for most of your life or continue to identify as such, you have so much anxiety about every single so many things and social situations. And, and you, you don't have to consider with... all of that stuff if both the characters on screen are men or right. all the characters on screen are men. Right. And just going, it's so much more relaxed. You it's can just simpler. have fun. You can have a good time. You don't uh, have to think about any of that. Oh, my God. My writing hero wants to take me home. What does he write? And I've just realized I that I don't seem to read very much at all if my writing hero is on an independent author's website. That's amazing. I really don't have anybody else that I think has done awesome in their career that I admire as far as writing is concerned. Right? Damn. Either that or he must be really good. That's... But I'm like, you're on a public writing forum and not writing your own books and publishing them. You're still on a weird social forum. You're still in a little corner of the writing world. Uh-huh. Not out in the big stuff. Uh-huh. Anyway. That's a good sign, right? Or is it just general concern for my welfare talking? Wait, what? 
going, it's a good sign that he wants to take me home, or he's, he's just basically going, I'm concerned about you. I'm sorry, for me, I'm like, I still find that to be really damn weird. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm, anyway, I'm fine. Go ahead. It's fine. Um, it's hey, you. Where, where do you live? Not far from here. Uh, we walked over. I'm not sure why I put him in a cab, except that he can't walk. It's really only going to cost about four bucks to get him there. It's fine. And that would be four dollars that I didn't It's a pay. short walk. I actually ran past my house when I was running away, because I was just trying to get away from everything. Uh, by the way, it's really cold with my clothes torn up like this, so... Um, hi. Excuse me. Hi. Hello, hello. I just... Okay, then. Shall we? Rai gestures in front of us, waiting. I know he's leaving the decision to me. Never could I have imagined that my favorite writer would be offering to walk me home tonight. Okay, now this is redundant. I'm also going, you already kind of covered that, except for most admired and favorite. <gasps> the person whose writing career, which is still small like mine, is the one I admire. You sound very young, dear. Like, really like, young. Whoa, you sound very... Like, yes, but you could be super young. And there's nothing wrong with admiring an independent author above all others. It just sounds like a very small corner of things. Also going on the entire website. What? This is this that, is the only person that you super admire. That, that or the that's best? why though I asked, going, what does he write? Because right? usually you have a specific. I'm like, let's go into Small's interest. What does Small actually like to read? That right? you're my writing hero. That's awesome. An independent author, even if they are on a small corner of the internet, and you're going, God, they're so good. They for write me. the best stuff. They write the mo the coolest crack fiction that I am never bored of ever. I don't care if they really are writing aliens slash my little ponies it is so well done and with such brilliant satire i love it it's my favorite yeah i don't know I'm um, like, I... all right the offering to walk me home tonight well yeah also again i'm like where did everyone go did he run out of there and everyone just immediately went well storm sun's not here and we don't care about any of the other writers care. in this contest so peace so clearly he is the only favorite writer unless of course it was only the two of us in the contest weird contest it's like some sort of cinderella moment I, I maybe not, not not so much no, really uh -uh. unless you're super undesirable normally and in the, so, or in the way like in the way of like being socially lower class and therefore not worth notice or appreciation. Uh -huh. I actually really like the the realization. So when you look at sometimes at Cinderella, you're like you literally had a girl who was probably more comfortably she was some sort of noble slash aristocratic family. Yeah. And then her dad married someone to basically save his class. Yeah. Because he was losing money. Mm -hmm. Um. And then when he died, then she was still a part of that. But then she was basically subsumed into the class position of servant so mm -hmm. she lost whatever prestige she had whatever title she had uh -huh. was taken away and mostly what she wanted then in the end was actually just to basically have a moment to be free mm -hmm. and going i just want to go to a ball because oh my god i haven't had fun in years and i don't get to do what everyone else gets to do and this is the biggest thing that everyone else gets to do uh-huh mm -hmm. and and also in, in that way of going cinderella probably would have been socially expected to have gone to those and she's probably missed so many over her life uh -huh. like she's never had her own probably coming out party you know when you all when the stuff to... you would normally do yeah. yeah for her class okay uh let's go which is not this After character all, in other words who who i am to say who i am to say I think they mean, who am I to who say? Who am I? Yeah. I really do. Who I am to say this? Ha! Who, who I am to say no? After all, who am I to say no to a little protection at this time of night? We don't know Do him. we assume he's protection? Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Do we? Do we assume? I... Especially from someone this hot. Okay, we are... We are a little overexcited about, like, hotness. Like, whoa. This is something I don't relate to as much, because I really just like people, people. Like, I can appreciate hotness, but it doesn't make me trust them. Uh, no kidding. Like, and some ways, actually, it should make you more nervous. At yeah. least for me, it tends to make me more nervous, because there's that thing of going, like, uh... I don't have Can that I help you? I don't For know. me, like, I've never had that experience of being suspicious of someone because they're hot. On the other hand, I don't know if I've ever... I, I have a hard time gauging hotness in general sometimes. So I'm like, you look really well put together and stylish. Does that mean you're hot? Question mark. <laughs> I guess for me, the reason I get I get suspicious of it is because most of the individuals that I've ever run into who tend to go, I really strongly prefer to have a nice looking experience or whatever it might be. And again, hot to my standards. So uh -huh. that is completely relative. Uh, subjective. It's subjective to me. Uh -huh. um, is that they tend to really, in the end, still be like, you are not actually really interested in the things that I'm interested in, and this conversation gets really awkward really fast. So I tend to get suspicious, because usually then things go bad. You expect that hot people, things with hot people will not go well, uh -huh. by your standards. That's been your experience. Okay, yeah. that's fair. That's <clears throat> uh, me. Thank you. It is you. I'm so glad I finally got to meet you tonight. Uh, 
I love that you're talking about that, but shouldn't we be walking while we're talking? If we stand here the whole night, we're never going to walk like this. No, like no, 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 no. backwards in front of me. He's just totally just strolling <laughs> backwards in front He's of me. He's doing the Michael Jackson moonwalk. Oh, yeah, yeah, hand backwards. on hip, my just one. La, 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 la. And I'm like, it is wildly graceful to watch you do that and not like fall on your butt off the curb. He's like, I've Good done this job. nine million times. You do not want to see my butt. M me too. I mean, um... I have always admired your writing. Not always, always, but like always for as long as I've been reading it, you know. Always for as long as I've been exposed to it. Like not when I was like, you know, an infant or anything. <laughs> I, you Were know. you around when I was an infant? Oh God, how old are you? I don't actually you? know how old you are or like where you come from or anything. <laughs> That's my line, small. No way. You really only came into the comments to defend me because you like my stuff? Like, Fascinating. Really, I still love that fact of, like, you really do have to consider it, guys. Like, it still makes me laugh my butt off going, he was right there while they're doing the announcements, they're setting everything up, and going, I'm scrolling through this person's comments aggressively. What going, am I doing? I want to defend you in the middle while of the While I'm crowd. writing, I have a live feed of your, you know, stuff going on <laughs> all the time. Except for I've never come in and defended you ever before, because normally people are super nice to you. But all the time I'm watching, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. And then in my case. one time came to defend you right before you met me. Hey! Amazing. You know what? I actually hired one of my friends to make that mean comment so that I could do it because I knew you would be there. And I don't want it to sound like creepy stalking or anything, but I wanted to defend you so you would know I was on your side before I met you. I was hoping to meet you. Hi, I've met you. Wow, that's terrifying. Thanks, no, bye. No way. You're a top writer on Prodigy. You won the contest, as if he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For telling me things I already know. Let's play State the Obvious. Um, I love also this game. Kind of tall. You're well dressed. Um, I love your Zelda swag. I do <laughs> so much. Also, the fascinating little like, like cross piece by your neck. That's really fun. Are those ribbons? I love it. Honestly, you know what that reminds me of? It really mm -hmm. does. Like, so it reminds me of uh, what's it called? The the little um. Oh, like a bolo tie. Yeah, a bolo tie. Ah, uh, yes. Looks, also, also the other reason I was like, you know, feels what, a little western. western. Feels a little western. western. Especially with the stripy shirt. I'm I like, damn it. it. And the vest. I'm like, crap. You're a bolo yes. man. Like, it does feel like a little bit of a western aesthetic. I can see it. Uh huh. All right. I love writing. I'm gonna work really hard at it. Yes. But I can never write the way you do. Well, about yeah. dragons and you mean, more dragons. You couldn't write the way I do because, you know, you don't like to write hot men or you're not comfortable doing it? Or, you know, I'm not you and oh. I can't literally write like oh, you. Oh, sorry. You mean you can't do it while, you know, sitting in a chair with your knees up against your face and on, your chin on them while you're just typing in the middle of the night, freezing your toes off? And continually drinking coffee? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you describe things. That's cool. From the vast worlds you create to the shortest dialogue. So you're saying that those aren't... That's Should not I, throw up, I throw up a lasso and grab the moon down for you, Mary? Hi. I, I well, feel like you're letting me into your thoughts. That sounds a little more personal than I was expecting, but at the same time, that could be very reasonable going, hey, this writer's really accessible. So, you know, that's fine. I blush at the compliment. It's unexpected, but... I know he's being sincere, and despite the fact that I never met this guy before, I have no problems with my self-esteem. I can take a compliment, and I will. Honestly, that is so welcome. Yes, that like, is appropriate. Just take the compliment. Damn. Honestly, okay, I understand being insecure. Me being a person who struggled with insecurities and self-esteem and anxiety and whatever else, it's still sometimes really nice to be like. It's good to be attached to a pro tag that goes, "Thank you." I will receive a compliment. Done. Thanks, Ry. Can I ask you a question? I mean, you've already asked a few. Sure. How did you get your ideas for your dragon stories? Oh, I've just loved dragons forever. When I was really little, I watched Dragon Tales. <laughs> I watched Dragon Tales, and God, it was adorable. And, and I then I watched a two-headed dragon. Dragon and Heart. I just, and, and I watched, I just, uh, all these dragon things. And, you know, my parents own a copy of Dragon Knight, but I shouldn't oh have watched that. What's that other <laughs> dragon one? The Irish one or whatever the crap it was? Oh, Dragon World. Dragon, dragon World. World. Oh, I you guys ever Dragon want to have, oh like, God. the worst movie experience? You can find it on YouTube. It's called Dragon World. So Lies had to introduce it to me, and I just looked at her, and I was like, what the f- so I was, I was very young when I saw it, and what's interesting about it is that you actually have a reversal on some kind of a trope, which I didn't know when I was young. But mm. like, it's got some fun dragon animatronics. It's got a really simple premise. It's got a, a hot it's Irish a, guy. It's fine. It's, say, it's an old movie. But the too, thing so. is, is, it's an older, lower budget movie, and it is in. I think it's actually in Ireland. Yeah. Like it's, okay. It's the location, so you know anything, and they've got you know an old estate there and some financial problems and stuff. But um, you have a like a reversal on a convention where the guy 
is the one that is sheltered and unaware and less connected to the world because he's been living on the sheep ranch for most of his life with his pet dragon pet slash friend dragon right. and you have this american girl show up who's super worldly and very aware and going oh damn naive hot guy is that my george of the jungle and <laughs> george 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 of the jungle they are crazy detailed oh well i have dreams sometimes and i've always had a vivid imagination plus all those dragon things i watched hmm. i see w what oh it's nothing that's really weird to be like, I'll ask one question. So you were hoping that I would say something more substantial, and now that I said it was dreams instead of, you know, a good education or something, hey, where do you get your ideas for art? Oh, I just make them up. I have all these, you know, I have a really complex imagination. I always think of stuff. So you didn't go to university? No. All right, thanks. Cool. You're now, you know, a plebe. Goodbye, That's... plebeian. So it's not from somewhere plebe. deeper. It's really just dragons. I hate that. Yeah. Actually, we were just having that discussion, honestly, in regards to art. I've always thought it's really interesting that a lot of people go, but your art isn't interesting if I don't know who you are as a person or where you got your inspiration from and the source uh -huh. of it. And going like, what about your reaction to the art? Why so, do you care so much what the artist or the writer thinks? When I've been in an art show, and don't think that sounds prestigious, okay? Because the, the art shows I've been in, you can pay your way in, or you, you're in part of a community show where it's just a bunch of people that sort of got together and did it like as a pop-up thing. Right. So getting in an art show isn't necessarily prestigious in any way. It can be, but it isn't inherently so. So a couple of the art shows that I've been in, in this case, none of them were like juried, invitation-only prestigious things socially, though they were fun to do. I always got people asking, if they asked about my pieces at all, it'd be like, what, what were you thinking when you did this? And I'm like, well, what do you like about it? And they're like, no, no, I need to know what you were thinking. And it's like it's this test of them going, if you make it sound interesting enough, then I'll care. And if you don't, well, I won't care. And sometimes it's really just like a, like almost like a nerd cred kind of test of going, right? so did you do this from a real place of art or not? And occasionally it is someone trying to connect to the piece. And I've had one, like one experience where someone really was having a, an emotional, like, like, like spark from something I did. Right. And they were just like, I really am feeling this. What were you thinking? And so I just went out on a limb and I told them and they're like, I am getting that from this and I want it. And it was kind of cool. But usually when I tell people what I think, they go, oh, that's not really what I was thinking. And they kind of walk away. Uh, and you're like, you can still have that. Oh, what my God. What you are thinking is totally valid. And I made it because I liked a lot of it. I make art because I like the way it looks. I'm also like, if you guys ever heard of Death of the Author, you could still use that in reference to just Death the of the painter, Death of the Artist. Anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He puts on an easy, cheerful smile. No. What is it? She pushes for it. That's great. She actually does. She's actually like... You try to drop it. No, I'm not going to let you drop it. Tell me what yeah, you're thinking. Yeah, like, come on. Like, like I feel like she's a little... Stop being edgy. She's more assertive than some people like that. I'll take a compliment, and I'm going to be like, no, don't drop it. I barely know you. Uh, Grandpa? Grandpa. Maybe. Pull! Gr oh! Huh? Uh, Ryan and I freeze on the oh, sidewalk, surprised mind. by an unfamiliar voice. We don't know anybody. Oh, oh God, God, it's another one! Ah! Your, your undershirt doesn't fit, dude. I'm sorry, but damn. Like, it is really loose oh, around. Oh, no, like... you are too from the school of Final Fantasy... I love the belts. Like, <laughs> the crotch protective belts are very Final Fantasy VIII. Good well, you see, fashion. Well, you see, the cod piece went out and it got replaced by protective belts. That is a good way to look at it! <laughs> oh my yes. god, now I want 900 pieces of fan art that just have characters from Final Fantasy VIII with giant cod pieces instead of... And like... then you go back and you get the Renaissance pacings and replace them with Final Fantasy belts. Yeah! That'd be great. Perfect! All right. I zero in on the person Hi. speaking. Do you have a voice for this one? Do you want me to do God, it? God, I do, you do want me to not. Do it? I wasn't expecting this. Ah! A young, good-looking, but possibly insane That's... man stands right in the middle of the street. Why do I think he's insane? Is it because of his clothes? Am I judging his aesthetic? Is it like, because he's in the middle aesthetic? of the street? Could be because he's actually, like, we were in the middle of the street, and this is in the middle of the street, so we were too. Like, if the illustration is actually telling us what's going on, we were as well. We, we, are, we are socially unsafe in terms of, like, the law cannot protect our ass because we were walking down the middle of the road. Okay? I love how the earring just keeps moving. Like, he could be standing perfectly still. It just keeps going, loo, 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 like there's a breeze, but it's not uh -huh. affecting his hair. I mean, he is moving. No, his no, but like, his arm is getting pushed out by like, his breaths. Look which at I how, love. how... He's doing pump it. <laughs> pump it. All right, All but right, like... No, pump it. His earring is moving faster than his head. For, I, like, sure. Should I do Richard Simmons as his no, voice? No, no. Oh, my God, don't. Please, it's fine. Oh, come on, let it be. Oh. I'm going to make him British. All right, fine. I'm going to do it. <laughs> He's dressed in weird clothes. As if Storm Sun isn't dressed in kind of weird clothes. Just saying. Are you a wanker? Based on the two other people that we've seen and the silhouettes of other people, 
The Storm Sun's also in weird clothes. Fashionable, stylish, beautiful clothes, but weird. Uh-huh. He dress, uh, although he doesn't look homeless. Oh my, oh my God. God! Really? Wow! This is the direction we're going. Holy crap! That was incredibly tasteless. Like with damn. his hands planted firmly at his sides, he stares boldly you at us. You mean one on his hip? Hang on, hang on. So are we going normally at night if a weirdo approaches me? It's a homeless person. That is, is that, still classic. I was gonna say, like, is that tasteless? Is that like, a tasteless statement ew. on the experience? Your experience with your town? Wow! Collarbones, though. Wow. I, that's really what he's going to say. Yep. I'm here for you, Small. <clears throat> Me? I hope you've prepared well for this moment. Your dull, meaningless life is finally about to change. Hey, uh, who are you calling dull and meaningless? <clears throat> Not you. <laughs> oh, is this? oh, God, it's the third one right here. Oh, oh my God. It's going to be the other one. I'm getting it's the other dragon. Come on. Come on. Tell me it's not the other dragon. What do you want him to be? Uh, I think it's him still, actually, but I don't know. Okay. Oh, and then he sees the other guy. Not you. Just, just your life. There we go. It is him. Yeah, and I'm like, like no, 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 that would be insane. Person. That'd be crazy. Would, All right. Like for me, I would not, find that to be like not you. Crazy twist just of your events. Just your life. Just your life. Oh yeah, that's much better. Look, I think you have mixed me mixed up with someone else. Nope. Mm, no mistake. You're the one I'm supposed to marry. Hang on. What do we got for music? Is it Hall of the Mountain King still? The one I'm your. Wait, what? Who is this lunatic? I mean, it sounds like basically Seriously. we're sort of doing some semi fushigi yugi stuff here, so you know, it's sort uh, of reversed. I'm not familiar with that one, but it's we'll okay. get back to it. Are there any mental hospitals around here? Man, I do jump to conclusions when I jump to them. I'm like, I'm pretty Whoa. good at taking compliments. I'm pretty good at play. I am an assertive type, but also jumping to really aggressive conclusions. Like, wait, are you homeless? No, you're insane. That's what you are. I mean, <laughs> mental hospitals. Not that mental hospitals are currently bad for people who have mental conditions, but that is a wild jump. Like, And wow. they could also be a hell of a lot better, so. <sighs> they could be better. However, it's important to get help when you need it. So there. All right. Could he be an escapee? Not oh, in those clothes. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I'm going to judge you. Small, really? Really? Huh? What are you doing here? The stranger. And then suddenly, pep, I'll just put my shoulder right next to your shoulder. It's fine. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? I'm going to be talking like this. Uh, I'm taller than you. I'm going to just shoulder you out of the way gently. Excuse and yeah, you. Let me make myself short. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love it. The stranger sets a menacing gaze on Rai next to me with the words. I, As he says the, those words, I think, is, they're trying to say that he's aimed them at Rai. Yeah, that he, he looks at Rai as he says the words. Mm -hmm. I think it would have been easier. But it's okay. We got this. I'm also like, I'm loving the gag earring and also the fact that that is a queer-coded earring. It really is. Like, so right if side. anybody doesn't know, historically speaking, the right-hand side of the face. So if you're looking at someone and it's on their left, your left-hand side, their and right that's side. their right earring... <laughs> that is usually been used to be like, I'm gay. On the other hand, if he thinks it's supposed to be like an arranged marriage, he could be completely gay and we could be completely cis, you know, um, like a uh, girl. Uh -huh. And and he could be like, well, yeah, marriage is not about who I'm attracted to. It's about who I'm supposed to be with. Excuse you. That would actually make it a really interesting story. I'm it for it. Hey. Right, did it. Could do it. All right. Are you here to steal my fiance for yourself? You better get away from her. Uh <laughs> I... <laughs> Sir, I'm just sending her home. I'm picking the wrong freaking accent. You it's can fine. do this. I'm going to kill you with the British. I'm you're sorry. I'm like, you. shit. You're Southern. You can do I this. I just lost this. Draw it. Draw it out. And I'm nobody, really. The stranger opens his mouth to say something, but is interrupted. Ah! Oh, my God. All three of them. Ah! There it is. <laughs> More crotch belts. It's fine. More, More cut pieces. More, More modern day cod pieces. Then he's go. got four belts on. That's amazing. He's got little belts on his oh arms. My God. I don't wear cufflinks. I wear belt links. Oh <laughs> belt my cuffs. God. Belt cuffs. I mean, he's got scarf cuffs. Or he's got scarf links right now because the little. That is through. so that's much so fun. So extra. The little woven li like, oh, like that's, that's adorable. Fun. That's very cute. Welcome, just... welcome more to my type, y'all. Uh, so he's, <laughs> he's got that fun sort of Victorian aesthetic. He looks uh -huh. so broody. I, Sorry, honestly, but... it's the fact of also mostly the hair. Unfortunately, I am weak for. I was gonna say I wanted his face to be a little more interesting. I know. Because, <laughs> like, if you took his hair off, like, there's all... So I did this thing at one point where I was like, art challenge, draw your character without their hair, kind of thing. Uh -huh. And it was really this experience of going, 
is your character still distinctive and interesting looking if they do not have their signature hair? It's so the many silhouette people, challenge, too. You can Kind make. of. I would say, but just taking their hair off and going, does your character have a distinctive face without their hair? If you put 14 of your characters, or three of them, depending on how many you have, right. next to each other without their hair, do they look really distinctive from each other? All right, all y'all who does art and you have your own OCs, here's your challenge. Be <laughs> issued from Lies and Scandal. Gently shave their head. See what happens. Yep, see what happens. Right. See if you can dis you can distinguish them from Another each man other. appears. Poof! At my elbow, startling me. Ha! Wait, were you like crouching at my elbow or just appearing at my elbow? You're just <laughs> down there, Gollum style. Hello. <laughs> ah! All right. Appears at my elbow, startling me. I didn't even oh my God. hear him. I can't. He moved so quietly. Make him American. Just make him American. It's fine. You just be American. Yeah, but I don't want to do another Lucio. No, you could just, I, uh, um, he could be, he could be more refined. He could just be like your book type. You're, you're quieter nerd. <clears throat> All right, sure, fine. Come on, just like a quieter nerd dude. I run a quick gaze over him. I, oh, God. Stunning features, I guess. Confident posture. Like the other two that are standing next to me. He looks more like he's shoving forward. He's got his hands slowly sliding behind his ass. He does have a little bit of the lead with the hips kind of thing. <laughs> but, <laughs> but he doesn't have a hand on his hips. The other two are both hand on hip, hand on opposite hip. He's like, I will have my arms down. There are only four postures for arms, and I didn't want it on both hips, so we're going. That's it. <laughs> because that'll be your posture. Small, right? small standing with their ha uh, arms akimbo, which is, I love that term. I so love hands it. on hips, you get your elbows out, arms akimbo. If you ever read it, you know what it is. Sophisticated outfit. He looks like a prince from a fairy tale. You think the other one I looks insane and this one looks thingies. like a prince? He's got his hair in a little freaking blue. He does have little ties in his hair. That That's one. adorable. I like his bangs are super extra. Uh -huh. I feel like if he shook his head a little bit, he wouldn't be able to see it all. Oh, yeah. It's no, very, not very even cute. slightly. Like, what did he do? I gently gelled it to the, the point in the middle so I could see. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> help, help, help. <laughs> The little pendant's very fun too. The blue is pretty. <laughs> I just, I just lick, lick my right hand and get it in place. <laughs> like there's hair. a lot of like fluffy bangs and side bang and face framing though. He's like really like I don't like my forehead at all. But look, look at this jawline. Damn. Damn. You son. love it. Like that is that haircut for me, especially with the little like um, ponytails on the side kind of uh -huh. thing. Does he know guy who wants to marry me? Possibly. That's so cute. I like that line. I <clears throat> Does he know guy who wants to marry me? Possibly. I love it. What's your name? Guy who wants oh. to marry me? That's my character name. Maybe he works at the mental hospital. That doesn't make any sense, and why would he be dressed like that? Honestly, excuse you. It looks like they both walked out of a theater more than a mental hospital. Like they both came from a late night theatrical show, and that is what they're doing walking around in that costume, would be which some people do. Way more reasonable. Or going, was there a con nearby? You could have yeah, used Yeah, that one too, being like, was there a con? Was there a costume party? Or did you guys come from a theater production? Right. Like anything. Or are you part of some kind of anachronistic society? Are you part of any sort Ooh. of like performative? Huh. You're like the guy. So there's a gentleman. Um, I do not remember where he is. You can look him up. He actually hasn't worn basically modern day, cl day clothes in years. Oh, he started making the modern his, dandy. The modern dandy. Yes. And he goes, he's actually made his own basically Victorian dandy era uh, clothing for Lime. years. Yeah, like that's what he does. And uh -huh. you can actually go and order um, clothing from him. And but it's will... so cool. It's all handmade. And I was like, that's so badass. Yeah, and he will tailor it for you. And so really like her her particular assumption, I'm not relating to at all. And I've just decided that Smalls, you know, uh, uses her pronouns because we didn't get an option. All right. <sighs> How very admirable of you to be sending home a young lady in need at this time of night. <sighs> uh, well, you know, like I said, I'm just a nobody. A good Samaritan. <sighs> I see. <laughs> But now that but I, oh, that's you gave him a name. Of hang her. on, his name is Dylan. Which one's got the which one? His is, name's this Dylan. is Dylan. This okay, is so Dylan. that's Dylan. Go oh my ahead. god! Oh my god! How do we know okay. his name's Dylan? Hang on, that's why I just said you gave him a name. So I'm giggling. So if you guys, so for some context for this name, I actually we already knew about this name, but I laughed about it super hard. In typically, so this is where I'm going. This ha film, ha this 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 had to come from a different country purely because. Especially like in Japan, you'll see it whenever they do translated names. They will tend to pick a name that basically sounds very Western slash European slash like from the United States. Uh -huh. Something that is not from their area because that's the exotic name. So Dylan is the exotic name because, yeah. I, I, so I go ahead and I commented in one of the Final Fantasies going, the name of their city is Insomnia. But we name stuff all the time based on an interesting foreign word that sounds uh -huh. cool. We're like, it's a kitsune. And you're like... 
Yes, that's fine, but you just think the word sounds cool. Uh-huh, you're going, no, 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 but it's this thing. And you're like, no, it, it's... It sounds really cool. And if you just think insomnia as a sounding word, sounds freaking cool. Sounds amazing. However, your city called insomnia sounds like <clears throat> a nightmare. Except for not, because you can't fall asleep. Ah! All right, anyway. But now that I'm here, your presence is no longer required. Uh, um, <clears throat> oh, my God. I will... <clears throat> I can do this. I will now see to it that my fiancé is seen home safely. He stands next to me, shadowing me with his height. He is the tallest one, actually. Our British one is the tallest one. Wait, pink? Wait, he, he's talking about me? The fiancé? Wait, was that him? Me? No, I think that was the one of Marry Me Dude. I don't know. Yeah. Otherwise, they went back to whatever. I don't know if the only one's on screen, the one's talking, but that's the only one's name we don't know, and it went back to question marks, so I assume. Which seems really... Unless that was a typo. Uh, maybe. What is this? Is this a TV prank or something? I yeah they did they, they took did. his name again it was oh, a time that was me. you you called me your uh, fiance I, I they just forgot they made him Dylan instead of question mark so they spoiled their own name his name is Dylan damn Do all right yeah. doofuses all right TV what's a TV who are these weirdos <clears throat> small don't you know who I am I'm Phoenix uh you are unimportant Phoenix. The only ne name she needs to know is mine. He steps in front of me, filling my gaze with his mesmerizing beauty. You thought he was dressed still sort of weird, but mesmerizing beauty. Okay. You, you did say he was striking, though. It's fine. I, whatever. I'm like, I'm confused now about Small Center. So Small thinks that the redhead one looks like an insane a, a homeless crazy person. Per crazy person, which is... We'll just drop that. that for now. There's so um, much to unpack there. It's, it's fine. like wow. Um, and they think this guy is incredibly attractive, but seems to be a doctor type. And then Storpson is my original senpai and the one that I love. And author, yay! Yay! I love the long hair. It's very fun. Like, like you just pulled like, like he's got such thick hair though, with that much bang and the little tails and all of that in the back. I'm like, your hair is ridiculously thick, dude. Good job. Like, wow. My lady. My name is Dylan. Yeah, you know what? The, um, like, information card told me that a couple scenes back. It was really weird, and then it went away again. And I don't know I what happened. I suddenly forgot it, but it's okay. Forgotten things seem to be a really strong trope in a lot of these games, so we're okay. Wow. And I am at your service. Do I need service? What kind of service do you provide? Because if you want to take him back to the mental hospital, if that's really what I'm going with, then maybe that. Thanks, but I don't want your service. Oh, I wanted to choose the dialogue option. Uh, he looks so grumpy and hurt at the same time. But you're my fiancé. Stop saying that, because I don't know what you mean. I'm not anyone's fiancé. No one's proposed and I haven't said yes and I haven't been arranged into anything, which are the only two ways that I know that it happens. Do you understand? I'm not marrying anybody. Not even Storm Sun. I was just hoping, like, for some cute flirty time, because honestly, I really don't know him either. But your sash is super cool. Uh, hmm, that's not my understanding. Our? Uh, yes. Our understanding. You must be mistaken. I narrow my eyes at them, growing increasingly frustrated. One man asking me to... One man asking me to marry me? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> would you <laughs> marry... Small, would you marry yourself? <laughs> hey, hey, Small! Would you marry yourself? I... Hey, Small, would you marry yourself? I might. I mean, I'm glorious. I'm pretty cool, <laughs> and I'm getting better all the time. And I have 500 followers, so I could be all right on my own. You know what? Me might be the perfect match for me. Imagine me and me, and, and me for me. me. The only one for me is me, and me for me. So happy with myself. I can you see, see me loving nobody but me for all my life. Typos, man. Like, really. One man asking me to marry them would have been weird enough but two and they're not really asking <clears throat> they're just saying that's the thing <laughs> why don't you just marry me small maybe <laughs> that'll help <laughs> he's like Whoa, this is a little over okay Robbie. it's it's not funny okay i've had enough of this am i talking or not i think i'm talking i don't know who you guys are but just leave me alone and Storm Sun, that's a little bit abrupt, even if this was kind of cute. Either that or he was just trying to make you feel better, going like, just jokingly, like, I'm trying to joke, you guys, back off. Like, like can we lighten oh. the mood? Can we just lighten the mood? It's a little intense. I continue, I'm so glad I finally tied my torn garments in place, and I just take off running, because I am a world-class runner, and we're not that far from my house, before one of them can say another word. Huh. <sighs> oh. 
They ain't hard to get, huh? I like it. My lady, be careful or you'll hurt yourself. Hey, wait up! I'll protect you from these guys, Small! Not to worry! Gah! They're following me. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Fast. You know, I didn't say it before, but Rye was a really damn good runner because I just booked it out of there and he was just on my tail. And I'm really athletic. Like, I wasn't even out of breath after that. I just, you know, why are they all so good? And also, are they wearing shoes for running in? Because, damn, I feel like they're going to wear out their really nice this shoes. Is so bad. I quickened my pace, panting harder with each step. Just see. Exhausted. Yeah. All right. So, um, I guess honestly, this is probably a pretty good place to stop, you guys, just for this episode. So, holy cow! This is uh, scandal, and I have been lying. Uh,